friends, and welcome to Mindful Readings. My name is Carla tantillo Filibear. I'm the founder of Mindful Practices and the co-founder of Class Catalyst. I know that many of our schools are going from remote to hybrid or in-person learning in these couple weeks. Wow, that can be quite a change, especially if we were used to being home with mama or grandma or dada or papa during this time. And so our very first book for our mindful readings this morning is Llama Llama Mrs. Mama. Llama Llama Mrs. Mama. So before we get started with our very first book, let's scooch to the edge of our chairs Let's find our feet with a stomp, 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 and let's roll our shoulders back. Let's roll our shoulders back. Beautiful. Let's take our hands and clap them together, rub them together, make them nice and warm, and then put those warm hands on your face. Maybe you want those warm hands to cover your eyes and take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Now notice what's happening with you in this moment. Are you sad? Are you happy? Are you excited? Are you tired? And whatever you're feeling today, know that it's okay. It's okay to be you wherever you are in this moment. And if you do miss your mama, right now or miss grandma, then that's okay. Maybe you're dealing with some grief or some loss. Maybe you're dealing with something really hard or maybe you're not. But know that your teacher or the caring adult that's close to you, closest to you is always there to give you an air high five, and to give you kind words of encouragement because they care about all right, friends, join me now for Llama Llama Mrs. Mama. There's Llama in bed. Now, he is not used to going to school, but he's going to start going to school. And I have a feeling it might be a little bit rough. Let's take a look. Llama Llama, warm in bed. Wakey, wakey, sleepy head. Llama school begins today. Time to learn and time to play. Oh, look at Llama. He doesn't look too excited, does he? Make the bed and find some clothes. Brush the teeth and blow the nose. Eat some breakfast. Clean the plate. Oops. Oh, my. We're running late. Now, some of us, we might have just been eating breakfast and then roll out of bed and go to our computers where now we have to have our school clothes ready and maybe we have to pack a lunch and maybe we have to get in the car and get all the way to school. Woo! There might be a lot of new things we have to do now. Drive to school and park the car. Tell the teacher who you are. Meet the new faces, hear new names, see new places, watch new games. Some of us might have only seen our classmates on screens before, and now we get to see them in person. Ooh, that's a fun and exciting and maybe even a scary change for some of us. Hang the coat and say goodbye. Llama, llama, feeling shy. Mama Llama goes away. Llama Llama has to stay. Strange new teacher, strange new toys. Lots of kids and lots of noise. What would Llama like to do? Llama Llama feels so new. It can be hard to feel new. You know what I like to do, boys and girls? When I feel new in a situation... Or there's something about a situation that feels a little scary to me. I like to pause, find my feet, the little light stomp, stomp, stomp. I like to roll my shoulders back and I find my breath. Now, sometimes if I put a hand on my belly and I breathe in, I can feel that hand on my belly go up and go down. Can you try that with me right now? Find your feet, put 
put your hand on your belly and find your breath. This really works for me if I'm in a situation that's new or scary and I feel like I want to cry or I feel like I want to run away or I feel like I want to say something mean instead of crying or running away or saying something mean. I pause and I find my feet with the stomp, stomp, stomp. I put my hand on my belly and I find breath. Now it's okay to feel all those things. It's okay to feel scared. It's okay to feel like you want to cry or to cry. All those things are okay. And when I pause, it helps me realize what I'm feeling in the moment. It helps me realize what I'm feeling in the moment and say, oh, I don't have to run away or I don't have to say something mean. I can go find my teacher for an encouraging word. I can play a different game. I can read a book silently on the rug or silently at my desk. There's lots of choices I have. Sometimes finding my breath, if I'm like Lama Lama and I feel new in a situation, can really help. Lama Lama feels so new. Build a castle out of blocks. Make a rocket from a box. Llama Llama shakes his head. Llama walks away instead. Here's a little chug a chew with a captain and a crew. Would the llama like a ride? Llama Llama tries to hide. So he's not feeling ready to play yet. He's not feeling ready to join the group yet. Reading stories on the rug. Kids are cuddled, sitting snug. Would the llama like to look? Llama Llama hates that book. Hmm. So he doesn't want to sit on the rug. Now, because of coronavirus, we don't get to cuddle up like that. So that might make us a little sad, but we can still sit on the rug. We can still listen to books or sit, on our sit at our desk and listen to books or sit at our table. Time for lunch. Now find a seat. Llama doesn't want to eat. Llama makes a little moan. Hmm. Llama Llama feels alone. Llama misses Mama so. Why did Mama Llama go? It's too much for little Llama. Llama Llama misses Mama. And so we see Llama Llama's really feeling these emotions. Hmm. What do you think? By looking at his face, boys and girls, scholars, what do you think Llama's feeling? Hmm. What else do you think Llama is feeling? Mm -hmm. Maybe sad or lonely. This is where he could find his breath. It's okay to feel those things. Don't be sad, new little Llama. It's okay to miss your mama. It's okay to feel those things. But don't forget when the day is through, she will come right back to you. Llama, llama, please don't fuss. Have some fun and play with us. Put on coats and run outside. See the playhouse, try the slide. Tag and jump rope, hide and seek. Close your eyes and do not peek. Now it's time to draw and write great big crayons, colors bright. Take some paper from the staff. Oh, Mama, Mama, you came back. There she is. Teacher gets a goodbye hug. Wave to friends on the reading rug. Climb the playhouse with the slide. See if Mama fits inside. Lots to show and lots to say. Back again another day. Llama finds out something new. He loves Mama and school too. And that was Llama Llama Mrs. B Mrs. Mama by Anna Dudney. And so let's pause before we move on to our next story and let's reflect. Can we understand what Llama was feeling? Mm. So everyone, scoot your chairs back. 
Find your feet with a stomp, stomp, stomp. Roll your shoulders back. Pause for a moment and check in. Find your breath. Place one hand on your belly. And for some of us, we want, might want to place a hand right under our collarbones, which is like right under our neck. We can feel the breath come into the belly and in under the collarbones. Notice what you're feeling. Do you understand why Lama Lama was sad? Do you understand why he was happy at the end? Do you feel those feelings sometimes too? Just notice there's no right and there's no wrong answers. Nice job, boys and girls. Nice job, learners. Our next book is a book that I love, 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 love. Why am I me? Why am I me? Each one of us is so special. Each one of us is unique. Each one of us looks differently from the other. And these are things to celebrate. And these are things to talk about. It's so important to say, why am I me? And why are you you? And why are you you? And how are we different? And how can we talk about those differences and celebrate them? Because it's awesome to be unique. It's awesome to be different. And then how are we the same? And talk about those similarities and celebrate them. Because it's awesome to be the same and say, hey, we're all humans in the world. And we're all important. And so let's talk about why we are who we are. A fabulous book, Why Am I Me? by Paige Britt, Sean Qualls, and Selena Alko. I love the pictures in this book. Love, love, love. Why am I me? And not you. Why are you you and not me? Why is everyone who they are? Look at this wonderful cacophony of different faces and cultures and races and religions. And ethnicities. Some people have different hair or eyes or glasses or clothes. Neat. And not someone else entirely. If I were someone else, hmm, who would I be? Someone taller. Faster, smaller, smarter. If someone else were me, hmm, who would they be? Someone lighter or older or darker or bolder? Who in the world are we? If we aren't you and me, why am I me? Hmm, let's breathe that question in together. Why am I me? Now let's think. Boys and girls and scholars is we're here. Something we love about ourselves. Breathe that in and breathe that out. Breathe that in and breathe that out. Let's think about something that is unique and special and different about us that we can really celebrate. 
Let's breathe that in. And let's breathe that out. Maybe it's our ears or our nose or our hair or our toes. There might be something. There definitely is something that's really special about us. And shh, here's a secret. There's something really special about the kid next to you and the kid next to you and the kid next to you. Every kid has got something awesome and special about them. Just like you. Why am I me? Why am I me? Hi. Hi. A smile and the offer to share. Wow. Wow. Now, what do they have in common in this picture, boys and girls? Wow. What do they have? They have a look in their eye that says, hey, I see and recognize you. And I see and recognize you too for all that you are. Wow. Isn't that a neat book? Isn't that a neat book? So let's pause. Let's find our feet. Let's roll our shoulders back. Let's take our hands again and give them a soft clap and rub them together. Rub, 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 rub. Place your hands on your face or place your hands in your lap and take a deep breath in. Let's try that one more time. Take a deep breath in. Now I'd like you to sit either in your chairs with a tall back or crisscross applesauce legs and close your eyes if closing your eyes feels safe. And if it doesn't, then pick something to focus on like a chair or a window or a letter on the bulletin board. And I'd like you to breathe and think about all the things about you What makes you, you? What makes you, you? Breathe that in and breathe that out. And then I would like you to think about what makes others unique that might be different than what's about you, and that's okay. Different is good. Different is great. Just like you are special and unique, they are special and unique. And everyone has a seat at the table to share what makes them them. So let's think about that. Let's breathe that in. And let's breathe that out. Let's breathe that in. Let's breathe that out. One more time. Let's breathe that in. And let's breathe that out. Beautiful. Now, before I leave educators and parents and caregivers that are with us today on the call, I encourage you to have the students and scholars and children that are with you move around the circle and share one thing or two things that make them unique. And then parents and caregivers and educators at the end, I would like you to speak to what you love and can celebrate about the diversity of the children or the class that 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 is in front of you. Thank you so much 
ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, learners and scholars and educators and parents and caregivers. I'm so excited and honored that you were with me today. Thank you. It is my privilege to share mindful readings with you. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next month. Take care. Bye-bye.